There are 50 of us, 50 photographers, underwater photographers, scientists, artists, musicians, writers, and people who desperately care about the sea. And every one of us is an individual. But there's something that happens when we all get together on an Elysium project, on an Elysium expedition. And that's this. Collectively, we amplify our voices when we work together. It's as simple as that. And this amplification, this collaboration really works. And it works in terms of producing images. It works in terms of producing a book. It works in terms of producing a film. It works in terms of telling these desperately important stories about how our planet is changing. It's that simple. We have been in the Arctic. We have been in the Antarctic. And now we are in the Coral Triangle. I'm coming um, to be part of this great expedition to document the biodiversity of the area in terms of the corals for our team and um, get, I guess get a scientific baseline for this area which is facing um, climate change impacts in the near future. What coral looks like, how many different types there are and all of these sort of microstructures that give them um, their defining characteristics. And you know I've been diving for 20 years and obviously you appreciate the coral um, but you don't quite see it in such detail. You don't spend so much time looking at it underwater. So that was a lot of fun for me. made in the USA. And this is an extremely poignant piece of plastic. In fact, the most poignant I think we found because this gives a fingerprint for exactly where this product was made. And this just supports the notion that plastic pollution is a global problem. Things being manufactured in other countries a world away are ending up in the ocean here. And this just goes to show how important it is that we really try to address the situation globally and take ownership over the products that we produce. 